I think that Lindor in New York City would be an absolute home run. He'd be a fan favorite. He's got that electricity that a lot of players don't have. Now, I don't advocate for Lindor over LeMayu. I'm just thinking outside the box. And you're also going to have to sign into a contract that might be approaching $300 million, and then all of a sudden you have three players on your roster long-term that would be making that kind of money in Garrett Cole, Stanton, and then Lindor. Yeah, you'd have to pay twice, but remember, you'd also have to bid against 29 other teams, 28, because probably Cleveland wouldn't be involved when he becomes a free agent as well. The thing that stops you from making a deal like that, I agree, Jack, is that you'd have to give up some of your equity, but the Yankees have a deep farm system. They can do it. Uh, and then there's going to be a lot of free agent shortstops in all likelihood on the market after the uh, the coming season. So you could pick from Story or Correa or Lindor or Seager. A lot of ways you could go with that. But again, you do like to get your foot in first and convince the person this is where you want to be long term.